there's Oktoberfest at the top right, which is a celebration actually in September that goes into the first week of October. Um, and that's a beer festival um, and also just like a seasonal celebration too. And then the top left corner is from what's called Fasching, which is um, the German version of basically like Carnival or like Mardi Gras um, before Lent, which is before, yeah. Um, and then Glühwein at the bottom left is from um, a Weinox market, which is a Christmas market and there's Easter eggs. And then on the bottom right, those are traditional um, treats that you would find at any German festival. Cool, next slide. Cool, so this is a slide of kind of like typical, like stereotypical um, German culture, or very traditional. So on the left, that's actually a picture of my friend um, who lives in Germany, Paula. Um, she's the girl on the left. And so this is her at um, a festival. And so they're wearing their traditional clothing. Um, and this is later hosen for men and then a dirndl for women is the dress but there's actually versions of like female lighter hosen too now. And then traditional food is there, it's bratwurst. So there's usually meat and then there's potatoes and sauerkraut. Um, soccer is huge in Germany. And then that's a, um, a stamp with Mozart on it because he's from Germany um, and kind of Austria as well. And then the bottom left are recycling bins so you'll notice that there's five different bins and recycling is huge in Germany and like if you don't do it you're fined and then at the top right is a house with solar panels and solar panels are also very common because German Germany is very big on green power and renewable energy next slide please thanks so these are the actual statistics so um, the population of Germany is around 80 million. Um, that's the biggest in the European Union, second in Europe and 16th in the world. 91.5% are German. Um, so then the second largest is Turkish actually. And then the rest are Greek, Russian, Italian, Polish, and more. And 75.7% .7 of the country is, lives in an urban setting. So lives in a city. So most people live in a city. Um, most people are German but the Turkish culture definitely has influences on lifestyle. The official language is German. Um, and 60, 70% of people there identify as Christian. And it's almost evenly split between Catholic and Protestant. Great, next slide, please. So some cultural values are like sense of order, sustainability, directness, thoroughness, rationality, and expertise. And this is just some normal like fashion in Germany because I think a lot of times um, you might think of like the traditional wear, but if you go to Germany, people dress like we do in America, um, but they do tend to dress a little bit more um, like fancy. Um, so you won't usually see people walking around in a t-shirt and like running shorts. Oh, and then education is also very different from America. It's much more like self-sufficient um, so a lot of times students will actually get out of school at one and they'll go home for lunch and then that's it but they have a lot of homework to do on their own and it's much more like you're choosing to be at school and so you're responsible for your own education and they have a bigger emphasis on like trade um, trades so not everyone goes to um, the college that like we think of for like studying history or math or something people go to school for like becoming a plumber or you know be like becoming a construction person or something like that or like engineering next slide please so this is a slide on Turkish culture it has a big influence on the food so that's actually Angela Merkel um, on the right side and then on the left so there's been some recent controversy with a soccer player in Germany he actually quit the national soccer team because he was being criticized for supporting the Turkish president who's a dictator in Turkey um, and so he quit in protest saying that you know like fans were just 
basically like judging him. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. Next slide, please. So um, immigration has also played a really big role recently in Germany. Um, in like 2015, especially, you had the immigration crisis as the conflict in Syria escalated. So Germany has been known for their open border policy um, beginning in 2015. They accepted a lot of refugees. And then in the years after that, they created stricter laws because they couldn't, they didn't have the right infrastructure in place to handle the influx of just new people. Um, so they have like an integration course. And even right now, so in the upcoming year, they're saying that this is a priority of um, figuring out how to like integrate new people from a different, um, usually like non-Christian culture into Germany. Um, next slide, please. 